Hi everyone, I'm Lynn from Finds of Yesterday and I sell vintage items on eBay and vintage jewelry and I chose 30 items that sold in the month of June of 2022 and we're going to go through them right now and hopefully they'll inspire you to look at other things when you're out and about at yard sales and thrift stores and maybe you can find some goodies just like this that can sell. So let's turn the camera around and I'll show you what's sold. All right, let's get started. These are 30 items that I sold in June that I kind of randomly picked because I picked wanted a variety of items to show you. So let's jump right in and start with this first one, which is a Weiss earring set and brooch. It is absolutely gorgeous. I did take a best offer of $60 on it and I paid $7.65 for it. And my profit was $43.77. Next one is this green frosted leaf brooch and earring set, another one. And I paid $4 for this. It sold for $42.99 and my profit was $30.35. It's another gorgeous piece. I also sold some Barbie um, outfits that I paired together since they were the same brand, same kind. And they sold for $29.99 and I only paid $2 for these and my profit on this was $24.85. So I always keep an eye out for Barbie items, Barbie clothes, specifically Barbie branded clothes. Next one is a brooch. It's a double rose brooch. It sold for $16. Most of the brooches that I sell are in that $15 to $20 range. So this is just an example of that. And it's just a really pretty, nice, simple brooch. $16, I paid a dollar for it and my profit on it was $13.74. Then we have this little Stone Critters Parrot, which is just adorable. It's only four inches tall and he sold for $25 and I paid 25 cents for it with shipping i don't know if there was some discrepancy but i made 2534 on it this next one i found at a thrift store for for 16 dollars and 20 cents with tax and i debated about buying it and i kept going back to it they wanted 15 dollars for it and it was a thrift store that benefited um church group church organization so i felt Paying $15 was no problem. I just didn't know what the value of it was going to be. And because I couldn't find one exactly like it, but it's from the 1920s and it is Art Deco. It's a beautiful example of the 1920s in that style. And it ended up selling for $86. Um, it was on auction. And I, as you can see here, I have six bids on it. So it was a pretty good buy after paying $15. My profit on it was $59.34. I always pick up these stitch kits, the knitting, crocheting, um, that type of thing, if they're sealed. I don't buy them if they're open. Nobody will buy them because they're worried that there's they're going to be missing things. And I don't want to go through every one and make sure every piece of floss is in there. So this is a, an example of something that just is very old, probably from the 70s, and it it is from 1975, and it sold for $15.99, and I paid 50 cents for it. I think I paid 50 cents in a lot of other ones, and my profit was $13.90. They're easy to photograph, easy to ship, and easy to find. So that's something um, to think about. Now everybody says Avon's probably not worth selling. I sell quite a bit of Avon and this butterfly brooch is just gorgeous. They really did, um, a, did a good job of, of um, producing some different styles. And I just love this one. It ended up selling for $23.99 and I only paid $2 for it. It had free shipping, so I'm, my profit was $14.95 on this. This next one is a turquoise leaf brooch or necklace. These are all little plastic pieces. 
and even the rings are plastic, but it was different. And I definitely thought it was worth picking up for a dollar. And I sold it for $19.99 and my profit was $15.13. Here's another example I threw in because I only paid 25 cents for these, probably at a yard sale or maybe in a lot of Christmas stuff. These are plastic, they're not glass. They're simply plastic. They sold for $14 on a best offer. And again, I paid 25 cents for them. My profit on these was $12.35. You sure can't beat that. A lot of these icicle ornaments are um, easily sellable. This next one is a Christian Dior scarf. I don't run across them very often, but I ran across several scarves that were really nice. So I picked them up, 50 cents a piece at a yard sale and it sold for $19.99. It did have a couple little flaws on it, which I showed and I stated, and she, she left me positive feedback and loved it, and my profit on it was $17.11. This next one I picked up, I don't know if you've seen the video a while back, it wasn't that long ago, and I picked up a whole bag of Christmas ornaments, and this was in it, so really I only paid about a dollar for this box and it sold for $19.99 and my profit was $91.15. They are Hummels um, by Danbury Mint. They're all angels and they're double-sided. Adorable set of 10 from 1989. Keep your eye out for these. And not all Hummels are worth something, so please look it up, but these somebody definitely wanted. This next one I bought at an auction. It's Sam Stang red hand blown pointed vases. And I paid $9 for it. There was like three different items in this one lot and this was one set of vases in it. So I ended up paying $9 for it, but it sold for $49.99 and my profit was $43.24. Dollhouse furniture is definitely something to pick up. I picked it pick this stuff up as fast as I can when it's very reasonable, especially when you can buy it in lots, then you always have the opportunity to get them for 25 cents, 50 cents. And they all sell in the 14 to $30 range, most of them. But this one little bench that they could put on their little front porch sold for $12.99. I only paid 25 cents for it. My profit after shipping was $12.49. Now I never knew that this was gonna be high price, but I seen this at an auction and I looked it up and it was Donna Karen perfume. And I paid about $3.50 for this and I accepted a best offer of $100. So my profit on it was $98.14. And this came with two of them. So I have a second one that sold as well. So it's definitely worth looking up perfumes, but make sure you ship it ground. It has to go ground and you might wanna put that in your listing. You can ship it expedited or priority or whatever, but you have to write um, ground on it, on the box. This next one was an artisan made clay um, necklace. And I wasn't thrilled with it myself. It's not something I would wear. So for some reason that made me put a lower price on it, but I only paid 25 cents for it. So it sold for $19.99 and my profit was $12.44. I was still happy with that. Not everybody's gonna like the same thing as you. So it doesn't hurt to pick up stuff that you don't like. So this next one was a Better Homes and Gardens quilt and it was just machine stitched. It wasn't anything special. It was just done by Better Homes and Gardens and it was in the red, white, and blue theme. And I think that's what really helped it sell. I got this at, at an auction with a box of quilts and afghans and stuff for like 25 cents. And it sold for $25 on a best offer. It wasn't gonna sell for much more than that because I kept getting I think I had it listed at 30 or 35 and I kept getting offers for 20 and 25. So this handmade or machine stitched quilts don't sell for as much as hand stitched quilts. 
so anyway, my profit on this was $21.88. This little German doll, I paid $7.50 for at a real estate, at our estate sale. Everything at this estate sale was high priced. It was the first day and people were flocking in and a lot of stuff was selling. And I debated about buying it for that price, but I knew these little German dolls with the hinged arms and hinged legs um, were definitely worth something, just didn't know how much. So I took a chance and ended up selling at $30 and I made a profit of $18.99, not too shabby. <clears throat> this next one, as you can see, has a lot of scratches on it. And I actually debated about listing it until I looked up the brand low mode and it seems like that brand was selling. And since this is vintage, not all compacts sell for high money, um, but just look them up because they, they may sell for more than what you think. I paid about $3 for this and it sold for 30 on a best offer and they were happy with it. It's, my profit on it was $23.76. This was part of the bag of Christmas ornaments that I got at a yard sale. And I probably paid 25 cents for this piece. It's a Star Trek communicator and the voice, it lights up, but the voices don't work on it. So I sold it once, got it returned because they didn't read the description thoroughly and they thought the voices all worked and um, it, it got returned and I resold it right away for $25 on a best offer and my profit is $21.95. I threw this in because I definitely think you need to look at everything and consider everything until you know, just know by seeing it. The, these Western military buttons I found, I think in a little box of other little buttons and pins at a yard sale, or maybe it was an estate sale. And it, these two were actually made not too far from here, like about 45 minutes from me. And I didn't know that until I got them home and looked, up, looked them up. This sold for $9.99 for two buttons. They're military academy buttons. And I paid about 50 cents for them. My profit was $8.54. This next one, I bought a box of Elvis stuff at a estate sale. And this was the first thing to sell probably within a day. And I paid about $1.25 for it. And it sold for $25 on a best offer. I think I had it listed maybe for $28.99, something like that, under $30. So $25 was a good offer for me. And my profit on it was $20.37, which paid for the lot. And I also made a profit from that. This next one was part of that bag of Christmas ornaments that I got at, an, at the yard sale. And it had three of these Swarovski Christmas ornaments in it. They're glass, they were in great shape. There was one there that was totally broke, but I left it, but the rest of them, were in pristine condition in the box with the paperwork. And this one was a 1999 one and I sold it right away. I don't know if this one's a little more rare than the other ones. I think I have a 1997 and 98 and or a 2000. But this was the first one to sell and it sold for $190 on a best offer. And my profit on it was $165 for a $1 investment. This next one I threw in because this is something I had up for about six months. It was time for it to go and it is unbelievable that somebody paid the full asking price of $29.99 after six months. And I had it on sale many times and finally somebody took it and I paid about $5 for it. And my profit was $29.88. This next one is a Buxton vintage jewelry box. And you can see here, it was kind of dirty. It had some like staining to it. 
And when the um, buyer got it, she gave me positive feedback, but she wasn't thrilled with the color. She said it was more yellow than in the pictures. And I'm struggling with that because these pictures are really showing how dirty and yellow or kind of beige color it is. So I don't know. I don't know really what she was talking about, but anyway, she was still happy with it. It's an, it was like, it's probably, it was from the 1960s. So what is that? Uh, 60 years old. I mean, it's going to yellow over time. So it's definitely a cool looking jewelry box though. Look at all them different departments. It sold for $42.99 and I paid a dollar for it at a rummage sale. So my profit on it was $43.77. And that was just because of the difference in shipping probably. Uh, this next one was just a cute little angel I thought I would throw in. Uh, she's a little ceramic angel and she's definitely vintage. I didn't pay anything for it. It got it was thrown in with a box of stuff I think I got from a um, auction. So I didn't want to throw her away. She's too cute. So I thought I'd list her and she sold for $14.24 on a sale that I had. So my profit was $13.24. This next one, if I can pronounce this right, is a balacolic, balacolic Venetia. Venetia from Italy mask. It was absolutely gorgeous. This one estate sale had several masks and I didn't want to store them. This is terrible, but I didn't want to store them. So I didn't buy any more than this one because she was just gorgeous. I couldn't leave her there. Paid $5 for her. She sold $39.99 in maybe a couple months and my profit was $29.88 on it. So I'm pretty happy with that. Here's another Avon piece that people say Avon doesn't sell very well, but this is a 10 karat gold pink rhinestone. And look at these gorgeous rhinestones. They have some really bright color to them. And it's got a mother of pearl backing on it. Really nice piece. If you ever see this little circle with a dot in the middle, that's an Avon piece. I paid a dollar for it. I have so much Avon right now I need to list, but this was not one of the nicer pieces I pulled out and listed it and it sold for $29.99 with free shipping. So my profit was $19.71. Next one, I got a box of Bakelite at an, at an auction and I pulled these two little tools. This one on the left is a handle. It's missing the tool, but Obviously this one, I don't know what it's for, but it's, um, they're both Bakelite, both this red and this bottom brown tested Bakelite as well as the green. So I sold it probably too cheap because it sold the same day I listed it. I paid about $2 for it and it sold for $13.99 with no asking me for an offer on it. and my profit was $10.44, which I'm still happy with. This next one is a Peristone Angel Princess figure. Um, she's an African-American uh, figurine made of, I think they're made of like a stone because they're called Peristone. She's a little heavier, but I got several of these pieces in a, a lot from an auction. And I didn't know the value of these until I, I accidentally got them in this lot and looked them up and this one was worth $24.99. That's what they paid. And I paid about 25 cents for it. And I still have two other ones up. So my profit on this was $19.26. So that's what I wanted to share with you today. These sales are from June and June has been a little bit slower as well as July, but still not too bad. So I am trying something new this, this month. Since they changed over the promotional rates to now be now force us to do 2%, I just canceled all my promotions and decided to start over. 
So I'm, I ran, I'm doing a test. I raised all my prices and now I'm putting all of them on the suggested advertised rate. So it's boosting my views, my impressions, but the sales haven't picked up yet. So I'm hoping that it helps. If it doesn't, I'm just going to take it all off and we'll see where it goes from there. So thank you for joining me. I hope this video um, gave you some other things to look for when you're out and about, and I hope it helped. So if you like the video, please hit the like button and the thumbs up, and we'll see you in the next one.